Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very quiet and kind of interesting news when it comes more so on the PlayStation 5 in terms of numbers, in terms of everything, in terms of sales, in terms of the actual proper number of consoles that have actually even been sold to as well. And it's kind of somewhat bad, but also somewhat very intriguing and also just not all over the place. A lot of intriguing news to go and cover. I always love when I have a chance to go and kind of do a little bit more of these breakdowns by the month by month and seeing like what's been changing, what's been updating, what's been moving and all that type of stuff. As well, I actually really do generally enjoy uh, kind of do a little bit more of the deep dive information. So we have some very intriguing stuff that came out uh, just basically literally as of like one day ago. And we have a lot of news to go and cover. So let's go and talk about it. Let's go talk about, in all honesty, I, I, it's weird because it's like intriguing news, but it's kind of bad news. Like it's kind of a weird video still to go and process and make. So I guess let's just ramble into it. Let's go start it. And as well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well down below. And of course, the Twitter giveaway down below. And let's go and dive on into the video itself. So... Sometimes we actually have a chance to go and check out various different other numbers, and we've actually been, funny enough, been seeing more of a fall, which is why it's not necessarily the best numbers to go and see. We've actually been seeing a pretty big decline, and if you guys have been watching my channel, or watching restocks, or watching stuff in general, it kind of makes a little bit of sense. Like, especially even as of these past few weeks, we've had a very, 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 very barren time when it comes to restocks, when it comes to consoles, when it comes to movements, when it comes to everything. And I think that's one of the bigger issues right now is that Everything is in a really big slog, and we actually now have the numbers to as well even prove it. And this is always kind of a big kind of apprehension on my end, because with Sony's trying to go push like an 18 million console mark and try to beat the PS4, and even at this point, try to even beat like the Switch or the Xbox, it's kind of been going a little bit on the rougher side. So, one of my favorite articles out here, we have some more games, industry biz, giving us some more details on the sales numbers and everything else. Where we have the Lego, we have the Switch, and the PlayStation 5 all go and top the April charts, European monthly report. But a quiet month means market falls both year on year compared to March. So as of right now, these are always intriguing numbers to go and see, where they literally go and have like a 2,000 and uh, 290,000 consoles being sold and over 1 million accessories and 11 million games were sold across the European markets as of last month, according to the latest GSD data. First and foremost, I want to say that seems not that big, in all honesty. Now, of course, this is by a month-by-month -month basis, but just even the general sense, only 290,000 consoles are very, very in the smaller note. So this is actually a uh, part of a March decline over the sales recorded in March and during April 2021. So basically like a year to year over, checking the numbers and seeing it's actually, well, pretty bad. So 289,000 came consoles were sold across Europe in April, a drop of 15% over March. And even March itself too is also pretty much of a dry period, just basically, you know, we're post the holidays, all the leftover stock, they're kind of building up stock, it's usually summertime, it's not a big a lot of AAA games, you know, the usual type of vibe. So, first and foremost, I want to hear your, your kind of thoughts and comments down below. I feel like that's a very small number, like 289,000 across Europe, that is a very, 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 very small number. So this data covers selected European markets, the biggest territories not covered are more so in the Germany and the UK too as well, and we've actually had a chance to go cover into some of the UK data before, and it comes to their actual videos themselves. Which we actually talked about, I thought this maybe a few weeks ago, a week ago or so, where they actually did have a little bit more of an uptick too as well, which is nice to go and see. So, basically Nintendo Switch was the leading platform for a seventh consecutive month, with Every single month, it always just goes to show that the Switch is always there. It's basically like your mom or dad watching over you. It's always there. The PS5 is once again, though, in the second position, followed by the Xbox Series X and S. So at least as of right now, the market's kind of like the usual. I mean, seeing the Switch is kind of basically leading the lead everywhere. PlayStation 5 is doing pretty good. I mean, like, all around pretty nice. Like, basically, the second-tier consoles, like PS5 and Xboxes, they just cost more money mostly, so they're making more money in theory. And then the Switch, obviously, is just selling more units, although at a smaller, cheaper price. All three platforms are suffering from stock challenges, although the situation is particularly challenging for both Microsoft and Sony. Uh, and funny enough, though, this was actually the best month of the year so far, 
for the PlayStation 5. And I think that kind of goes to show then how bad a lot of these demands and supplies are. And this is why I keep on getting really skeptical on those huge numbers that Sony's trying to be like, yeah, we're going to sell even more consoles than expected because we just still have not seen it ever since they've made their official press release. We have not seen a lot of American restocks. We've not seen a lot of European restocks. We've not seen a lot of, like, say, restocks going on over here for these data. And as well, the numbers are also down year over year and also month over month. So it's just kind of bad. Like, I mean, I understand we have all these issues, but it's more so these companies are bolstering, and AMD is bolstering, that they're going to be having huge restocks and crazy markets and everything, and then we can look and sit at this, and it's kind of just disappointing. So, at least they did have to say it was the best month of the year so far for the PS5. So, over 1.08 million accessories and add-ons products were actually sold across Europe last month, which is also, though, big numbers, over a million, but also down 19%. Like, we're seeing a very, very downward spiral when it comes to all this stuff. We want to see that uptick. We want to see that bounce back. And it just seems like these markets and restocks are just not really going well. The PS5 DualSense was comfortably number one, which is duh. Like, you know, people are buying their secondary controllers or buying brand new color controllers or whatever, which is also on top of that, too, for the PlayStation 5 sales. Where they actually still have been doing, like, the PlayStation 5 is still doing well. Like, they're selling good consoles, it's just not as much as expected. And obviously, as more restocks and everything else keeps them popping on in, that means that more people are buying games, more people are buying controllers, more people are buying charging docks. Like, I'm sure you guys know headsets, whatever. It's all kind of in a combination. And funny enough, too, the PS4 controller still is holding second place. In terms of wallets and point cards, 1.48 million of these were sold across Europe last month, and that was also, once again, a huge, massive drop-off. 24, 25, rounding up, 25% is a huge drop-down, especially on a month-to-month -month basis. Like, that's really, really bad. That also might just be maybe in regards to the PlayStation Plus, and people are waiting to see the format, and maybe trying to go away for the bump up. Maybe they don't want to go on up and until then. I can understand that. Maybe summer months, two more people are going outside, myself included. So it makes sense, but still. Uh, as also, there was 10.8 million Tret digital and physical games were sold across Europe during April 2022. It was a drop of 24% once again over March. Like, these are big, big drops, which saw a number of big releases plus continued strong sales of Elden Ring. So basically, Elden Ring is still holding up this market pretty heavily, which I got to give some credit towards. Digital unit sales declined 19.29% among the 30 Tret countries, and retail units declined 18% as well. On top of that, it's also down 16% compared to the same period last year. However, April 2021 was a five-week sale month. This year covers just four weeks too as well. And if we compare like for like for the weeks, game sales were flat. So we're just seeing like, funny enough, just a very small slow crawl. And I'm not sure if that ties in more to economy. I'm not sure if that ties in more so just general availability. I'm not sure, like I said, maybe more on the summertime vibes too, but also in combination of like the second year life cycle of both the Xbox and PlayStation, which also makes sense. Like a lot of people who, you know, maybe want to buy this stuff, maybe already bought it beforehand. But it's kind of crazy to see that these sales numbers are so low. Like you would honest to God be expecting a a lot more bigger numbers and just a lot more sales and we just haven't been seeing a lot of restocks like the restocks have been so so barren the best selling games uh, was easily lego star wars the skywalker saga is the fastest selling lego game released so far it's already the fifth best selling game of 2022 just behind gta 5 nintendo switch boards makes number four in the charts and just misses out on the top three by a few thousand units Nintendo doesn't share digital data with the G at DSD, so it's likely the game would have made the top three if it did. Otherwise, basically, it was also a big quiet month, too, for both consoles, accessories, but also game sales. Elden Ring did finally go and drop down to number two, which the fact that it's been out for such a long time is very impressive numbers, nonetheless. And then LEGO Star Wars 2 is just somehow beating them on up on top of that. So some of the Nintendo games actually have fallen, the Nintendo Switch uh, Sports. Kirby as well has also dropped, but we're still seeing some big games such as Gran Turismo, Grand Theft Auto, and still kind of be floating on in. But like I said, it's kind of somewhat concerning because we've just been seeing basically no restocks. A lot of these consoles, a lot of these gaming places, a lot of these everythings are just not getting stock. Same with America, because it's more of a European base, and it just show, goes to show that they need to somehow truck in these consoles. They keep on saying and advertising that there's going to be more. But until I actually physically see the restocks and see people happy in their consoles and people tweeting me in their consoles and all that, I just don't believe it. And I think that a lot of the data also goes to show as well. Like, we're seeing all these numbers. Well, it's nice to see, like, you know, how the game list is in case you guys want to look at it and see it. But seeing all these downward spirals, a 15% drop over March. And I almost want to be curious on the numbers for this month 
because we have basically seen nothing in May. So I'll be kind of curious to see what even the American numbers are going to be because this past few weeks we have seen basically nothing. So it is a little bit on the concerning factor. Hopefully they'll be able to go kick it into another secondary gear and get a lot more game sales and new games coming out and all these press conferences and stuff like that coming out in the near future might be good. But at the end of the day, it's very, very sad to go and see because it just doesn't seem like we're seeing a lot of sales. So give me your thoughts and comments down below and as well make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new playstation 5 giveaway amazon links down below for the ps5 disc digital console controller twitter and twitch room down below the weeble and coinbase down below and the twitter giveaway as well down below and give me all your lovely thoughts because i always like to go and hear them and see them as well we'll see you guys up in the next one